and resident of East St. Louis, Illinois. First of all, I came here as, um, should I say, a companion of Mr. Sloan's. Uh, I brought him here, so kind of like, I don't want to say chauffeur, but <laughs> we were going to get together prior to, which we did, mm -hmm. and then continue through the process, uh, the trek of this day. Now, um, so that's one thing. But at the same time, I had spoken with Eugene earlier uh, last week, and I told him that I wanted to share the information with you in particular, but also with the Writers Club, that since we are a part of the East St. Louis Historical Society, mm -hmm. several of us, right. and I was thinking that maybe we could collaborate and bring um, the debut, uh, the showing, the stepping out for uh, <coughs> collaborate and make that happen uh, for the East St. Louis Historical Society because when we first started, the very first day, we talked about introducing ourselves to the community. Mm -hmm. And mm -hmm. so we were talking about trying to do it before this year's over. Yeah. And being that you, you know, Eugene shared with me that, and you may have also, because you said your first um, event, I think you have an event coming up in October? Yes. You know, so I was thinking that I would ask you um, to consider that. Uh, actually collaborating, maybe uh, having some moment on the program for the introduction of the uh, East St. Louis Historical Society as a part of it, of that moment. So that's the second reason I'm here. You understand what I'm saying? So, yeah. so, so yeah, figure that out. So I just wanted to put it on the table, first of all. Mm -hmm. And then, um, uh, in addition to that, if we can, since we're talking about the Quonsabas reparation, that uh, whole slavery uh, uh, concept. Eugene gave us some of us, or shared with us that um, the New York Times, New York Times, right. and, and the 1619, the 1619 project, and that project, the actual magazine itself, impressed me or inspired me so much that I said, well, maybe we can take some of that actual magazine and just do a maybe a, an overview. Uh, of what that really means and the impact that it has right now and from the the sale to of the newspaper but they're being sold out the magazine sold out they have to produce more and they actually said that they've been sending them to libraries in different communities and hopefully we can get some here but that's a whole it's like a movement mm -hmm. a part of that reparation movement not only a reparation movement but to help tell the story and how so they can actually see how this is uh this is necessary you know because so many pieces of our history if you look at that magazine you're going to say Ooh, oh okay I didn't know that. Yeah. You know, there's so many T's across and I's and that, and it just lets you know how much more that's missing. Mm -hmm. You know, and it's us getting the chance to tell our story, you know, from our perspective. And we have been so brainwashed, our own people are talking about we don't need reparation. Yeah, y'all yeah. better need reparation. Our own people, <clears throat> you need to be working in the job, and da 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 da, so on and so forth. <laughs> and so yeah. um, I think helping to tell the story is relevant. Okay, now that, since we're here and supposed to be talking about what we're doing this year, one of the pieces from the 20, um, I mean 1619 project, the second one by Hannah, Nicole Hannah, yeah, which Nicole, I yeah. really love that. Uh, I love all of it, you know. So I'm taking a, uh, one, of, one part of, because it's like mm -hmm. a 15 page uh, article. Mm -hmm. I'm taking some part of the last part and putting it in like pro, I mean, uh, what you have right here, you know, it's like a prose, old concept of poetry and prose. I like that concept that in the Shaki Shange used choreo poem, mm -hmm. you know, and yeah. that's what yeah, I that tend to right. use with my pieces, okay? And so I'm using, I'm developing it now and studying, memorizing it, mm -hmm. putting it in uh, uh, with using the, uh, all that, Southern flavor, you know, black woman, you know what I'm saying, that really, I'm just, I love having fun with the words. But anyway, so I'm doing that as a piece for this year to help with a, an independent piece, to help with the, the uh, telling of the story, to inspire individuals to look into it a little deeper, all right? And then 
I have three parts to my Harriet Tubman piece, that I, the one part that I excerpt. So each part is like 10 minutes long, and I'll, I'm continuing with that to actually literally take that show on the road. Awesome. Yeah, the three part, three scenes of the Harriet Tubman. Um, yeah, the, uh, the title of the whole, whole, the overall title is Freedom in the Lining of My Soul. Mm -hmm. You know, the one scene is called Courage, and one scene is the question, the question is, yeah, the question is. Anyway, so that's that. Thank you very much.